You may already know this by now, but heart disease is the single leading cause of death in Georgia. Yeah, well, now scientists from Emory University, they're trying to change those statistics by taking their research <laughs> to, of all places, space. Atlanta News first reporter Sire Bussey has the story. 20,000 Georgians die of heart disease every year. Cryopreservation is a way to freeze down the cells, to just kind of um, um, rest them in the freezer, and then you can saw them back and bring them to life. The research coming out of this lab at Emory University could change the way physicians are able to help people with heart disease. There's hope to use this cells to, to replace damaged uh, cells uh, in the heart for patients with heart disease. The crew of four is packing up material that will go to the International Space Station. Astronauts will conduct experiments trying to grow cardiac cells in space. And then on the ground, uh, our scientists here in the lab, we will do a similar ex parallel experiment. Um, so then we compare. This investigation is probably going to take place for about one month or so on the space station. Then it will be stored in cold storage and eventually it will turn to Earth on a SpaceX vehicle. The goal is to see if the environment in space allows for cardiac cells to grow quicker than they do on Earth with more maturity. Treating heart disease, so one, you need large amount of the heart cells. You need to grow them into a certain amount of cells. You also need a good property of the cells. And when you transplant them, it won't cause a problem. This is the research team's second launch to the International Space Station. It goes according to plan bright and early on November 6th at 5.50 a.m. Uh, we will have a five-minute launch window that begins to take place. Uh, it is definitely uh, fascinating to think about uh, how stem cells uh, can eventually help uh, patients. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First. Well, now.